we are uh, going to be climbing Scarf Pike tomorrow. And in preparation, we need to have a good carb load. We need to have a lovely bolognese, which Tom is making now. He's making it nice and early, as you can see, it's half past so it's half seven. Half seven, and how long does this take, Tom? I don't know, it's gonna take absolutely ages. <laughs> the time is, I can't read it backwards. Quarter, Quarter to, ten. to ten. How long have you been, how long has Tom prepared this meal? Uh, two and a half minutes. <laughs> yeah, you he got, he got here at half seven. So the spaghetti is only just being done now, and uh, we're still waiting for food. We've actually into our second <laughs> bottle of wine. Oh yeah, so that it's this is this is great training for um for tomorrow, Scarfell. Good morning, viewers. We're here today on Tuesday the twenty second of March. We are about to leave for Scarfell. We're gonna do one more training walk. Going up Scarfell. The idea of today is to see how quickly we can do it. We did four hours fifteen last time. It's just me, Jonas and Tom again. And the weather conditions look good. Feels like minus four, not too windy, not raining, not snowing. So fingers crossed, we should be all right. Less time, we're gonna do it in less time. We're last time we did it in four hours, 15 minutes, we wanna do it in three and a half hours. We're gonna do it in less hours. Less hours. Well, probably, yeah, less hours. Fewer hours. 9.39. 9.39, so 22. 22. 20 to 10, and we're going. Hey, family. It's more difficult than last time, but I think it's because we're going faster. We are pushing harder than we We are pushing. Before. And there's no ice, so it's not slippy, which is great. It looks completely different. It's so different. Just <laughs> look over there. Well, there's a there's a little lake there, which was where we got on the last walk. I don't think we had any footage there, so you wouldn't have seen it. But yeah, we were a bit further away when we did our longer route. It went round that valley. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think we're making a big time. Just that little lake there. Oh, Jonas is dead now. <laughs> and Jonas has so fallen sad. over. And that's how we lost Jonas. <laughs> right. One more push to the top. Can we do it? Okay. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Jonas and Tom, where are we? At the top. Summit of Scarfell Pike. We did it. Like, it's a lot less windy, still very misty. Um, not much of a view, but my God, that was so much better than last time. We've done it in uh, one hour, 45 minutes, which is great. It's well in our... <laughs> our time limit, so uh, we're hopefully going to make a good descent now. I said that it takes fewer hours for us to do Scarfell Pike than it does for you to cook bolognese. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few more people about now as well. And this is Jonas and Tom acting like nine-year-old boys. Funny because there are some nine-year-old boys up there. Their behaviour is yeah, they rubbing are, off. Those nine-year-old boys are behaving better than us. Hey, look, so see there, that's that's the you see the sweat there? Yeah, I can see it. And then it's you know, yeah, it's just uh, yeah. And just down there as well. Make a cue, ladies. But we did it in three hours, five minutes, which is an hour and ten minutes better than the last time we did it. So, weather was better, we were fitter, uh, we had everything going for us, we were more prepared, and we did it in three hours, five minutes. Are you pleased, Alex, in your underwear? How do you feel yeah. about that, Alex? I feel very warm. Um, <laughs> you've caught me in an awkward moment. <laughs> I love catching Alex at awkward moments. 